Alright guys, welcome back. We're on episode 11 of season 4 of Card Sharks. And we're going to start again. Marty has won $28,800 in that last game. Good job, Marty. Thank you. And his challenger for this game is Tim McClellan, okay? Hey, hey. How you doing, Tim? Doing all right. All right, and are you ready to go see if you can get in the tournament again? All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. All right, and as y'all know, we play the best two out of three match to determine who's going to go on to the um, money cards for $144,000. This first game is worth $1,000, and this first question goes to you, Marty. Okay. Marty, we surveyed 100 police officers and ask them, tell the truth. When you're in a bad mood, do you give out more tickets? How many police officers say yes, they do? That's going to be a very low number because when police officers give tickets, it means that they're doing their job. So it's going to be a really low number. I'm going to say about eh, maybe 30. Going 30, okay. All right, um, Tim, is it higher or lower than 30? Uh, I'll say it is a low number, but it's just go. I think it's a little bit higher than that. You're going higher. Okay, let's check it out. If it's higher, Tim, you'll play your cards. And um, if it is not higher, Marty will play his cards. And if it's 30 um, or it's right on the nose, we give you $1,000 right then and there, okay? Here's the question. How many people, how many police officers said that when they're in a bad mood, they give out a, more tickets? The answer is only eight. It is not higher. It is low. Wow. Didn't think it was that low. Yeah, good job, Marty. Well, Marty, Thank you me. have a nine. What do you want to do with that nine? Change that. Okay, when you win the question, you can change the base card. The nine becomes a two. Higher. Higher than a two. No, it's a double. I'm oh. sorry, Marty. Free chance goes to you, Tim. You have to play. You have to play off the eight. All right, we're going to go higher. Higher than the eight is a ten. I'm going to freeze. Freeze on a ten, protecting his position. And here's the next question, and we go to you, Tim. All right. Tim, we surveyed 100 men who work, and we asked them. At work, do you ever act busy in front of your boss when you really don't have a thing to do? How many men admit they do act busy in front of their boss? Uh, I'd say, I know, I, I know, I, I accuse myself of that. Uh, this was like back in the past when I was working a different job. Uh, I'll say a few men do act busy. I'll say. Probably in the neighborhood of uh, maybe 65. 165, okay. Um, Marty, do you think it's higher or lower than 65? Well, there's the watchers, and then there's actual workers who actually work. More workers, more money. Lower. Going lower, okay. Let's check it out. The actual number of men that admit they do act, act busy in front of their boss, even if they don't have a thing to do, is... Ooh, 63. It's just wow. a little lower. Tim, good guess. All right, um, Marty, you have a good card of a two. What do you think? Higher. You think another two is going to show up? No. Higher than a two. It's a jack. Lower. Lower than a jack. No, it's a king. Oh. Free, free chance to you, Tim. You have to play off the ten. All right, uh, we're going to go with the odds. Go lower. Lower than a 10. It's a 6. Uh, let's go ahead and go higher. Okay, he's going for it. Higher than a 6. It's a queen. I think I'm going to freeze. Okay, he's freezing, oh. protecting his position. You're one card away from winning your first game and $1,000. And this next question goes to you, Marty. Okay. Marty, we surveyed 100 bachelors and asked them, would you want to date a woman who will always be more famous and more successful than you are? How many bachelors said, yeah, 
How many bachelors said they would want to date a more successful woman? Wow. If it's more famous, they would get in more trouble. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say... Um, let's go with 58. You're going 58, okay. Is it higher or lower than 58, Tim? Mm, that sounds very interesting, 58. Uh, I don't think I would mind uh, dating someone more famous or making more money than me. I'm going to say that number is a little bit higher. Okay, you're going higher. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number a bachelor said that they would want to date a more a more successful woman is is seventy five. It is higher. Good job, Tim. Wow. Right. Tim, you have that queen showing. What do you think you want to do with that? I'm going to decide to keep that queen, and I'm going to go lower. For the first game and a thousand dollars lower than the queen. No, it's a double. Free chance to you, Marty. You got the two. Higher. Higher than the two. No, it's a double. Again. Oh, my gosh. Rodney, I'm going to tell you right now, these cards are being terrible, man. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you, out of fourth and final question, so I must win on this play of the card, so control is critical, so here it is, and it goes to you, Tim. Right. Tim, we surveyed 110-year-old boys, and we asked them, when you grow up, would you like to be just like your father? How many 10-year-old boys said they would like to grow up to be just like their father? Pretty sure at 10 years old, uh, a lot of boys would idolize their father, and I'm sure a lot of them would. I'm going to say the answer is, uh, I'm sorry, it's probably going to be above average. I'm going to say 70. He's going 70, okay. All right, what do you think? Is it higher or lower than 70, Marty? He does have a point here, but uh, I'm going lower. You're going lower. All right, this is an important decision. Let's check it out. Uh, the actual number of 10-year-olds that would grow up to be just like their father is 66, just a little lower. Good job, Marty. Now, Marty, you have a decision to make. You have a two showing, and you have four cards to go in order to win game one, but you have the power to change that two if you want to. Tim has the queen. He has only one card to go, in order to win the first game, but he does not have the power to change that queen. Now, do you want to keep it yourself or pass it to Tim? Keeping it myself. All right. What you want to do? Higher. Okay. There's only one more two in the deck. It would be you tripped out if another two came up here, isn't it? Uh -huh. Higher than the two. It's a jack. Continue. Lower. Lower than a jack. It's a six. Continue. Higher. Higher than a six. No, and it goes to Tim. And Tim, you got a thousand dollars. Those cards was ugly to Marty, wasn't they? Yeah, pretty yeah. bad. All right, so you got a thousand dollars, Tim, but it takes two games to win a match, and we have the card set up for game number two, and this game is worth two thousand dollars. Marty, you need this one to continue to continue your winning ways, okay? All right, Marty, here's your question. We asked 100 girls on the UCLA campus, whom do you confide in more? Your mother or your girlfriend? Can you hear me? I cannot. Can you repeat the question? Yeah. Yeah. Who's eating in the background? Oh, that's me. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. We asked 100 girls on the UCLA campus, whom do you confide in more? Your mother or your girlfriend? How many co-eds said they confide more in their mother? Hmm. <laughs> um, well, 
shot in the dark, 45. Going 45. What do you think, Tim? Higher or lower than 45? I'm not sure, but I think it's a little bit higher than that. You're going higher. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of co eds that said they confide more in their mother is. It's 23, it's not higher, it's lower. So Marty gets it. Okay, hey, Marty, you have a base card of a nine. What do you want to do with that nine? Change that. Okay. The nine becomes a four. Higher. Higher than a four. No, it's a three. Sorry, Marty. Free oh. chance to you, Tim. You have a six. All right, we got to go higher. Higher than a six. It's a queen. Yeah, let's go lower. Lower than the queen is a seven. And let's freeze. Freeze on the seven, protecting his position. And we go to another question. And it's to you, Tim. Tim, we polled 100 men, all of whom are under 30, and asked them, are you losing your hair? <laughs> what? That's the actual question? That is the actual question. I would not lie to you. Oh, my. How, how, many, oh. how many said they are losing their hair, Tim? Now, Tim, you and I can relate to that, can't we? I think, I, I think we can. I'm not, I'm, though I'm not sure exactly when I started to actually lose my hair. Uh, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was started after I turned thirty. Uh, let's see. Uh, under the age of thirty and losing their hair, I wouldn't think it'd be that much. I'm going to say twenty-five. He's going with twenty-five, a quarter of them. Okay, what do you think, Marty? Higher or lower than twenty-five? point there I'm not sure how people lose their hair that fast so. I, I'm actually losing my some of my hair right now yeah thanks thanks yeah. Gary you're welcome um let's see I think it could be just a little bit higher going higher I lost my hair at, I started losing my hair at 27 oh. wow really yeah yep Thank you. Okay, we you still look good. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so the so Marty said higher and uh um Tim said twenty five. Let's see. The actual number of men that said they are losing their head out hair out of a hundred is it's thirty. Good job, Marty. It is higher. Wow. Okay, Marty, you have that four. Higher. He's gonna keep it. Higher than a four. It's a ten. You know what? Let's go lower. Okay, lower than a ten. No, it's a queen. Marty, you're having, you're having rough cards today. Well, free chance for you, Tim. You have to play off the seven. Uh, the odds say go higher. Higher than a seven. It's a two. No good. All right, third question and it's going to you, Marty. Okay. Marty, we polled 100 people and asked them, have you ever spent the night in jail? How many said they have spent the night in jail? Yeah, you know, there are some shenanigans in the world, but most people are good people. I'm gonna say roughly about 36. You're going with 36, huh? Okay. Is it higher or lower than 36, Tim? I think it's going to be higher, although I don't know how much more. I'll say higher. Higher. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of people that said they have spent the night in jail is only 11. It is not higher. It is lower. So, Marty, you get it. Marty, you have that four still. Again, higher. Okay, give him a good card now. Please. Higher than a four. It's a king. About time. Lower. Lower than a king. It's a five. Higher. Higher than a five. No, it's a two. I, 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 yo, you and your twos. Marty, aren't you glad that's the last two in the deck? Yes. All right, Tim, free shot at it. You have to play off the seven. All right, again, I'm going higher. Higher than the seven. It's a nine. 
Uh, I am going to freeze on that. Freezing, protecting his position, and this is the fourth and final question. Somebody must win on this play of the card, so control is critical, and it goes to you, Tim. Mm -hmm. Tim, we asked 100 married men, did your wife propose marriage to you? How many said their wife proposed? Isn't that a thing you say? Hmm. Um, how many wives said they proposed their husbands? I'm going to say, I'm going to say the number is about 45. He's going 45. Marty is higher or lower than 45. Normally, it's just the opposite of that. I'm going lower. You're going low, okay. This is an important decision. Let's check it out. The actual number of married men that said that their wife proposed to them is 27. It is lower. Good job, Marty. Now, important decision for you, Marty. You have a four, and you have four cards to go in order to tie up the match and get the $2,000. However, um, Tim has a nine there. He cannot change that nine. He has one card to go. Now, do you want to keep control or force it to Tim to play off that nine? I am proud to say we will not see any twos in that deck again. I'm keeping it. I'm going higher. Okay, he's keeping control. And you're not changing the card? No. He's going higher. You One mistake and Tim is the new champion. Higher than the four. It's a three and you have one, Tim. Oh my God. I cannot experience. So Tim, you have won three thousand dollars. We'll let this music go by, and I will say something. Marty, that was just terrible luck there. I'm sorry about that, man. I never seen such bad cards in all my life. But Marty, take with you twenty-eight thousand eight hundred dollars, and our congratulations. Okay? Is this just me, or is that was just? Wow, I mean, that was one of the worst bad looks I've seen so far this season. Yeah. It's, it's not Friday the 13th for no reason. <laughs> I mean, it is Friday the 13th, so yeah, it is bad luck day. Yep, that just proved it right there. Yeah, let me fix this. Stop the share for a minute. Did I stop it? Hang on, guys. Threes and twos, I'm coming after you. Yeah. And it's going to be after the show. Yeah, you can uh, come after them after the show. Good. All right, here we go. We're going to do the main cards with Tim. That was just horrible luck, uh, Marty. All right, Tim, uh -huh. we got one more game. Who's your last opponent? Take, I'm going to take Ben Mason. Okay, is Ben still on call? Oh, shoot, I did it again. Hey, Rock, I'm here. Can you take over, please? Because I'm being called away on something else. All right, I will. All right, thank you. Glad he said something. Hang on, guys. I got to call everybody back. Okay, we got Tim. Okay. Let me get this correctly here. Wow, what luck. That was the worst card I ever saw in a long time. Yeah. I'll bet Bob Eubanks has dealt with this too, I'll bet. I can imagine so. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna get the money card set up. Sure, it's in a perfect spot. Okay. Get the screen here. Yeah, that's just terrible luck there. Because so, I mean, uh, it wasn't nothing Marty did wrong. It's those damn cards. 
Those little cards keep coming up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so, Tim, you have 3,000. I, I can't wait to see what you do with these money cards. Well, let's I hear Ricky Lake say something. Now, Marty, you know how to play this uh, money cards. You don't need me to explain it to you. Oh, excuse me, Tim. You know how to play the money cards. You don't need me to explain it to you. <laughs> I called myself. Yes. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go on. I know it. Okay, which number do you want from 1 to 52 to cut the deck? Uh, let's go 33. Going 33, and here we go. And once the cards come up, we give you $1,000. Okay, your opening card for $1,000, Tim, is a 7. Let's go ahead and change that with number 2. Okay, you're going to change the 7 with number 2. This is your only change. The 7 becomes a 10. Uh, let's go $50 lower. Okay, you're going to take the safe bet. $50 lower than a 10. It's a seven, a thousand and fifty and a seven. Mm, still awesome out there. Let's go. Let's go fifty dollars higher. Okay, here we go. Fifty dollars higher than a seven. It's a jack. You got eleven $1 hundred dollars. I'll go five hundred lower. Okay. Five hundred dollars lower than a jack. Good job, a team. You have sixteen hundred dollars. We give you another thousand dollars. And you're up to $2,600, and you have a 10. Uh, not anymore. I'm going to change it with number 3. You're changing the card now, this time with number 3. The 10 becomes a 9. These are rough cards. Wow. Uh, I'm going to go 100 lower. Okay, $100 lower than a 9. It's a king, but you brought yourself a good card. You have $2,500 in the king. Very good. I'm going to go two grand lower. Okay, he's going two thousand dollars lower than a king. It's a jack. You're up to forty five hundred dollars in a jack. We'll go fifteen hundred lower. Okay, fifteen hundred dollars lower than a jack. It's a ten. You got six thousand dollars now, Tim. The question is, do you want to uh, keep that ten? No way, Jose. I'm going to change it with number one. Give him a two or an ace, please. Give it to him. He deserves it. Oh, excuse me. It's a one. Okay. Yeah. The king, uh, excuse me, the ten becomes a queen. Now, Tim, here's the situation. You have, you have $6,000. And I'm going to have to end it soon because, you know, everybody's going to bed. Okay. All right. You have $6,000. Okay. Yeah. You must um bid at least, least $3,000 on this play of the cards, but you can bid more. What's your big bet? 5500 lower. Okay, so this would be $11,500 or just 500 if you're wrong, okay? Lower than the queen. No, I'm oh, sorry, Lord. Tim. That king came up. But, Tim, you still walk away with $500? So that makes your previous total, well, your previous winnings were 3000 in the main game, so you're up to $3,500. Now, um, let me ask you, tell y'all something. When y'all guys want to do all uh, card charts again? Well, I'll be available after 5 o'clock tomorrow. Is that okay, Ben? 5 o'clock uh, Central Standard Time? At 7 o'clock your time, uh, Ben. I'm going to be here. You bet your, your, your bomb dollar. All right, guys. Well, let me go with the closing, guys. Wow, what an episode. Yep. Very strange. It was a strange episode. Episode 11 was definitely a Friday 13th for real. Wow. We, yeah, a lot of those deuces, huh? Yeah, but that's how it goes. So we'll definitely do another game tomorrow. Okay.
And this is Rodney1279 signing off, saying be safe, be careful, take care everybody, and stay blessed. And thanks for, thank you for supporting my channel, because without you guys, none of this would be possible. Good night, everybody. Good night, Rodney. Good night. Good night. Card Shark has been an RCD production in association with the Skype Game Show Network and the Mark Goodshin Productions.